cruising for a bruising. All right. Okay. Anyway. Really? Buzz me again. See what happens. Um, I bought it with like 50, 56, 50, 5,700 miles on it, and I have since now have. I now have. Ninety four hundred. So I've run four thousand miles in three months. That's uh it's pretty damn good considering I put four thousand miles on my five hundred in nine months. Been running the crap out of this thing. I have been commuting on it, so that's that's one of the reasons why. Um, yeah, if you see that rash there, that wasn't there before, that was an embarrass, an embarrassing act, I was trying to put it on the rear stand, and uh, just like this, got a hold of the uh, passenger strap, had the rear stand right here, was so just angled it in, lifted this up, and it just kept going. I was like, oh, you're kidding me. And where I had it in my carport is, I have my 500. Dude, seriously. I'm trying to vlog here, mother bitch. Anyway, the 500 is sitting about right here, right there, right here, right there. In a on a cover. And when this fell over, the front tire hit the back tire, hit it with just enough force to knock it forward on the center stand, which I have the SV650 shock on it, so it, it uh, the center stand no longer lifts the rear wheel. It uh, just sits it up straight. So I hit it with enough force, just enough to barely move it off the uh, center stand, and it fell on top of this. So this, this falls over. 500 falls on top of that. I wasn't even mad. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This just can't be happening, man. Especially when I'm trying to sell it. I was like, dude. And this guy broke. I can't even see that on the camera. I'm trying to see the camera in my helmet. I can't see it. Right. Brake lever broke down there on that pivot. Try to JB weld it for the hell of it. See what would happen. That held up for like a day in the heat. I went to go turn into the parking lot at Kelly's Kawasaki and I had no rear brake. It was just mushy. The pedal was mushy. I was going, oh, that's that's good. I get off and the brake pedal's just dangling over by the springs. That was uh, interesting. But I replaced that. I got that like 15% off any parts or accessories doing that uh whatever their current promotion is and uh so I bought just bought the bracket peg pedal peg pedal and you know the heel guard still good that was no problem But yeah, that's the uh, story of this bike summed up. I actually, <laughs> I actually had a ZX6R sweatband, and over the course of what a month, that uh, less than that, like, no, well, there's no, maybe it's been a month. I don't know. I lose track of time very easily when I'm working a lot. Anyway, it lost all of its elasticity. And so it was just kind of like hanging out there. Uh, that's probably not good. Need to get that taken care of soon. And once you know, I was thought about it today. I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll like tape it or put a rubber piece of rubber band on it. It'll look ghetto, but I'll fix it later. Nope, sure enough, it blows off on the 60 I'm on the way here. I'm like, damn it, that cost me 10 bucks. Yes, I paid $10 for our wristband. 
because it said ZX6R on it. But would I buy another one? No. I'll just buy like a 99 cent sweatband and sew in some ZX6R. Anyway, that was just an update for what's going on. I kind of, I did want to record some, uh, some writing. I don't think I will. But, uh, yeah, I probably won't be vlogging as often as everyone else. But, oh well, yeah, especially if I sell both bikes. I'm actually, I'm selling the 500 to a friend. And I'm going to try and sell this guy, which I got, I actually had got an offer uh, two days after I, no, you know, the day after I put the ad up, I got an offer for a toolbox. And I thought that was rather interesting. But no, I need, I need, need the cash. Definitely going miss to miss this bike. I actually, if I wasn't so hung up on buying new, I would definitely buy another used 0708, which is so strange. Let me go back to that, like how, why I wanted a 636, which is just, there's prestige about the 636, but looking at pictures of this thing, it's like, god damn, that's ugly, blah, blah, blah. Now, seeing it in person, though, seeing it in person, it's a completely different motorcycle, and since then, I've actually fallen in love with this thing. Or I'm sure everyone does with their bikes. That's the reason why we ride them. But yeah, absolutely love this thing, and I would easily own another. But I might try to get a 09, 10, 11. Hopefully, hopefully in crate still, because then they're get us some good deals on it, especially after this fall when the 12s come out. New, uh, new ZX6R. We'll see what's going on then. No, I'm not going up to a 10. Maybe not yet, but we'll, we'll see. I doubt it. Because a six, a 6 is plenty, plenty of power. But that's a completely different topic. Probably ne my next topic if I uh, don't forget to write it down or something. Anyway, it's getting late and the sun's like right there. <laughs> so I need to get going, and I'm just getting hot standing still. Actually, it's not that bad wearing leathers, because you're protected by the sun. Anyway, I'm going to finish gearing up, do uh, some zipperoos, and get some laps in. Alright guys, until then, um, I apologize for the absence, especially if you've just subscribed, or have been subscribed, and you're like, what the hell, dude, where's your videos? I know you're riding. And especially to the uh, rest of the AZ crew who have been expecting videos from me. They're like, dude, we know what you ride. We've seen it. Now let's see some vlogs of it. Well, here's half of one. We'll get some more of me riding it. I probably need a better camera. This helmet camera setup is not working. Anyway, I got lots of stuff to talk about. Now I do. Now that I'm on a roll. Now I'm just rambling. That's how we do it. God, all right. I need to, I'm just going to read this out. So yeah, we do that. We do that, and uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ride and do stuff. See you later.